Not exactly the full dress rehearsal in terms of an NHL roster ready. There are still some decisions to be made for both of these teams. Charlie Coyle trying to knife his way through. Curls up, looks for reinforcements. Yeah, one of the best two-way centers in my mind. Pound for pound, Mike Packa. Off the post from Coyle. And there's the first real good opportunity of the night. John Beecher. Send it deep. Beecher, a guy that has no NHL regular season experience. Spent last year his first pro season in Providence. Playing 61 games in the American Hockey League for a guy who... Could have been playing in Michigan last year as Capo Kako beats Jeremy Swayman glove side and gives the Rangers the first mark tonight. Forbert with a pinch right there. You see Brown jumped in. He thought he backhanded that past everybody and that would have been the the right intentions was there. And, and now you've got the rush and here's the pass. And the Bruins are back in numbers. I mean they're basically a one on three but no one smothers Kako here. And he's able to use the defenseman. Panarin. Out high for Fox. Rangers power play. Again, yes, it's preseason. Numbers don't mean a whole lot. Oh, that one pushed wide by Krocek, but is one for 16. That's not the number you want. Surprisingly to see. so. Here's Panarin. Side of the net. Nifty little tip there by Kreider, but couldn't sneak it through. Panarin. Wrist shot off the pipe. It's under Swayman in the blue paint as everybody crashes and the whistles come. Somehow able to keep it out. Keep your eye on Panarin there. Fake. Back out to Kreider. Here's the shot. And Kreider slides in in front. Jennifer just with a subtle screen right there as well. So good. I mean, Panarin made probably three great decisions in a row. Before that, he was shifty on the board. Halfway through the first opportunity tonight. Taco hunting for a tip with Lafreniere parked out in front. Now it's Miller and Wheeler playing catch. Miller, Cooley, Miller, Wheeler. Into the slot for Cooley. Shot rejected by Grizzly. They set up Miller again. Andre Miller into the bumper spot. Cooley shot knocked down. Still alive. Then cleared. Boy. You know, Lafreniere, he has been dangerous, but this is what I was talking about. Cooley just banged a stick on the eye. He commanded the puck on that last play. He said, you know what, I'm open. I want that puck. Finds the slot. Here's a chance for Lafreniere, and that one glanced off the iron before jumping out of play. Oh, is he, is he the designated DJ in the Oh, in the he's locker? a real DJ. Oh, he's a real DJ, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. With the tunes. McAvoy, Marchand playing catch. Hoskinov, Marshan straight away, guarded by Goudreau, Marshan flips it over for Zaka, cuts down high for Marshan, he'll switch places with McAvoy, into the slot, Zaka on goal, Pasternak in the rebound and they score! Pasternak forced it in front for Charlie Coyle and a power play goal, evens the score for Boston. But you see the way they started it. And you, and you move it. Now Marshan moves over. Now he's in the middle of the ice. You, you see a one quick pass by Pasternak. That separates the defenders a little bit right there. And now Marshan ends up in the same spot that he started at. And there's Coyle in front of the net with a strong stick off a great pass by Pasternak. You know, Panger, Zaka was another player that had great movement on the power play. He comes out to support the puck initially. He's the one that makes... Punched out to center. Marshan for Patra. Patra. His shot off of Miller. Puck still there. Marshan digs it free, but can't elevate the puck in the backhand. Because Durkin poked it right back to him. Wanted another chance. Did a little more work. <laughs> That's a way to get that save percentage yep. up right there. <laughs> Ryder for Zibanejad out high. Minute 15 left on the power play. Again, four minutes in length. Fox shot deflected oh. by Trocek. And a hit off the top of the net. Wayman was lunging back across his body. Fox walks the line. Opens up. Potter right there with them. Get a chance to kill penalties here. Not sure that was the message on the bench after they were reluctant to fire a couple of pucks. Get him on net. 45 left on the power play. Fox back. Door! Swayman denies the Benage. Young players are going to look up to him and everything he does, but he's, he's a player that's lived on that emotion as well. It, it, sometimes it does go over the edge, but that's what's got him to the level that he's at right now. It's going to be a fine line for him. 
saw last year with Steven Stamkos achieving milestone after milestone after milestone. Brad Marchand could have one of those seasons this year as well. 53 games from 1,000, 10 assists from 500, 28 goals from 400, 38 points from 900. So lots of milestone markers out there for Brad Marchand. Yeah, lots of math from you. <laughs> <laughs> Worked really hard on it last night, Ben. <laughs> Conn Smythe Trophy winner, Stanley Cup champ with the arch rival Nashville Predators for the St. Louis Blues. That's going to take a while to get used to. He loves his music. Yeah. Loves his guitar. Travels with his guitar on the road. Trent Frederick center score! Oh. Matt Patra, the 19-year-old making an impression in his preseason finale. One's a little bit different, but the play was made by Geeky on the boards. A little backhand pass, but Frederick lifts the stick right there. That keeps the play alive. That's just strong on a stick by Frederick. And now it's a little bit of a cycle game. Another, what a great shift by Trent Frederick, the St. Louis native. I mean, just outstanding. And then he finds the open man in front of the net. And look where Patra ends up going to. No one there. Everyone's puck watching Jennifer. They are, but like you said, Panger, that was about four great plays right in a row. Hope she turned it back in time to see the goal. No doubt about that. No doubt. Boy, he interviewed well, too, at the draft. A lot of teams really liked him. Somehow he snuck to the 54th spot. Trocek coolly kicked it back on net and wound up wide. You know, then... Year by year by year, you become one of those guys. I mean, it's changing. The the, the fabric of leadership is, is changing in Boston. And then action here. Cooley stopped by Swayman, and the puck is frozen. Look at him getting up, makes the play, heads up. Good chip pass. Yeah, one it's a three-on-one. One pass got to be on two four-checkers. Yeah, you're right, Jennifer. And with a lot of authority, too. Yeah, great play. Great heads-up play. Looked like he might be going to the middle of the ice, and then Shesterkin kind of leaned on his left side and put it off the boards and out. I like watching Jeremy Swayman play. I, I like the technique. I like, I like the stance that he's got. That one hammered wide of the net by Lindgren. Nice look across by Fox. Ostronach picked it up, chipped to the slot. Full quiz left it there, and Ostronach couldn't finish it with Lindgren on his stick, and then that stop made by Shesterkin. Coils out of the box. Pass intercepted by Greer. Coyle trying to turn it around offensively. One on one against Keandre Miller. Coyle driving, got into the forehand, and forced Shesterkin to make a save. That's a great move right there. Put on that weak side, but the interception. This is the burst of speed you're talking about, Panger. He comes in, goes wide, just gets a touch of that inside positioning. Taking away the eyes of Swayman. To the line. There's shot. That one sails past the net. Fox pinching in. Can't quite get there, but stopped Geeky from clearing. Geeky swirls around and lifts it ahead, and Greer is there. The puck settles down for him. He'll put it in the empty net. And the Boston Bruins are going to walk away with a win here in their preseason finale. Yeah, Geeky made a nice play on the right board right there. Couldn't get it out the first time. See the defensive play here. And he t makes a spin here. Now he thinks he's got some time because he does. And just a high hoister over everybody. Just before he makes that play to clear the zone, Geeky, I mean, you had the three Rangers kind of got caught low. They were going towards the net. And then goes the other way. You're on the ice for a reason. Being responsible for the one goal lead and they get rewarded with a goal. Well, the next time the Rangers and Bruins will take the ice respectively, it'll be for real.